Now you're ready to test your work. Click the board to activate it. You should see the welcome message you entered online. Now step through the slides, and when you attempt to move past the last one, a question will appear. Answer the question. If you pass, the prize should res, and should be offered to you. If you fail, the board should respond accordingly. The fifth component of the game kit is a prize. Prizes are awarded each time a player passes a puzzle board. You can make any virtual object into a prize. Here's how. A prize needs to be treated a little differently because it has a script inside it that automatically deletes the prize shortly after it's resed in world. In the game kit folder in your inventory, find component 5, the prize sample. Right click and wear the prize. It's attached to your heads-up display, so it will appear stuck to your camera. Right-click the prize and select Edit from the context menu. Copy the two scripts over into your inventory as with other objects. Right-click the prize again and choose Detach. Next, find or make an object that you want to use as a prize. Once you have a suitable object, right-click the item in your inventory and choose Attach to HUD, Center 2. This will place the item on your heads-up display. Right-click the object and choose Edit, then copy the Resin Delete script and Spin script from your inventory into the object's Content tab. You can double-click the Resin Delete script to change the message the item says when it appears. Right-click on the item and choose Detach to send it back to your inventory. Reselect the puzzle board and go back to the Contents tab. In the Contents tab of the puzzle board, find and delete the original prize item. Finally, drag your new prize from Inventory into the Contents tab of the puzzle board. While you need full permissions on the prize, the next owner does not have to have any. When you test your puzzle board again, you'll find that the board now gives your prize object and reses a copy in World when the quiz is successfully passed. The final component of the game kit is a final score reporter. This object reports the final score and tells them if they've won the game. The final score reporting in a game should reinforce the notion of accomplishment. Here I've added some particle effects from the particle laboratory and put the prizes on display. I removed the res and delete scripts. In this case, the rock is the score reporter. In this game, 
teleporters were placed under each of the prizes to allow players to quickly go back to any of the boards they may have missed. You can make any virtual object into a final score reporter. Here's how. The trophy cup on the ground will become our score reporter. First, open the game kit folder in your inventory and locate item 6, the final score reporter sample. Res the object and right click to edit. Open the contents tab of the sample reporter and copy the script into your inventory using drag and drop. You can delete the sample you resed in world now if you like. Now select the trophy cup and open the build dialog contents tab. Drag the score reporting script into the contents tab of the trophy. The trophy will now act as a final score reporter.